You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Road transfer. Black and White Sports 2. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share this out. My goodness, I guess I just could not stay away from you guys for uh any longer again today so i'm shooting a fourth video um mrs rance is still in the hospital and she's in icu um i can't be there i mean a after a certain time you're no longer allowed to be in there uh that's just kind of the rules of icu so here i am looking for something to take my mind off and my goodness oh LeBron James, the NBA, and their humiliation, along with the WNBA, by the way, along with the U.S. women's national team, their humiliation never disappoints. Never disappoints. I brought along J.R. Ewing. That's right. He is here. Never fear. And uh, we're going to talk about this utter embarrassment because the National Football League... Their preseason game. It's the Hall of Fame game, sure. But it's also a game that means absolutely nothing with absolutely no starters playing. I mean, we did get to see Dorian Thompson Robinson play, who I do believe at some point will replace Deshaun Watson. I'm calling that right now. Yeah, I said it. But then again, thought he was the, the fourth best quarterback coming out in the draft. So... There's that. I think he's got potential. Let's get to this. Meaningless NFL Hall of Fame game had more viewers than the average NBA playoff game. Oh, my goodness. That is, that is so sweet, I would say. The NBA is supposedly the second most popular sport in America, but the TV ratings don't make that exactly obvious since the average number of viewers for NBA's all-important playoffs didn't match the viewership of an entirely meaningless NFL Hall of Fame game this year. This is Breitbart. The NFL playoffs earned an average of 5.47 million viewers per game. The NBA itself earlier this year, indeed, the NBA crowd crowed at a time it had the, quote, most watched postseason in five years. However, even as the NBA was excited by the ratings, they pale compared to what the NFL just earned for its Hall of Fame game between the Jets and the Browns. The Hall of Fame game earned NBC Sports an average of 6.3 million viewers. My God. It almost beat the NBA playoffs by a full million viewers. And it was the network's most watched Hall of Fame game since 2018. There it is right, right there. The most watched presentation of the Pro Football Hall of Fame game since 2018, averaging 6.3 million. The NBA may feel it grew, but the games featuring all of its stars couldn't beat a meaningless football game with no bearing on the coming season, included very few of the league's star players. Yeah, we, we know Aaron Rodgers certainly didn't play. I mean, not that anybody really wants to watch Deshaun Watson play, but he didn't play either. Nick Chubb didn't play. Garrett Wilson didn't play. Sauce Gardner didn't play. I mean, those starters never saw the field. Ever. The Denver Nuggets took the NBA championships championship, beating the Miami Heat four games to one, and apparently not many noticed. Overall, the woke, China-loving NBA ratings for the championship finals were dismal this year, according to the data. The NBA finals averaged 11.6 million viewers, the fourth lowest in 30 years. The average is down 6% from 12.4 million in 2022. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the NBA possibly could think about bragging about. The NBA playoff ratings and the finals have been an utter embarrassment since 2019. I mean, there's no other way around it. No other way around it. So, let's get to Rapino. 
That's right. Let's come down here. Where did I find it? Right here. Right here. With the U.S. Women's National Team playing its final two World Cup matches in the overnight hours, last Thursday's pro football game was easily the most watched sportscast of the week. And it says nearly 6 million viewers. We now learned it was more than 6 million viewers. The U.S. Women's National Team lost to Sweden in the round of 16, ranked a distant second with 2.71 million viewers across Fox and Telemundo and Universo. That figure includes the pre-match coverage. Damn, it almost got beat by NASCAR. Placing third, 78 minutes of the NASCAR rainout coverage averaged 2.60 million viewers on USA Network. The Netherlands and South Africa game got 1.3 million on Fox. This is what is hilarious as well, folks. This is a true embarrassment for the WNBA. I mean, look, the WNBA, for whatever reason, the media continues to try to prop this league up. We know financially it's propped up by the NBA, or it wouldn't be in existence. All right? There was 26 years of brave, stunning, and courageous activism. Probably would have went out in year two if it wasn't for the uh, belly rubbing and the let me slip a 20 in your back pocket the NBA did for this failure of a women's league. Let's just be real. Well, listen to this embarrassment, folks. An encore presentation, a rerun is what we like to call that back in the day, back in the gap. We called that a rerun. A rerun presentation of Simone Biles' return to competition at gymnastics U.S. Classic averaged 1.06 million on NBC Sunday. The WNBA Aces Liberty averaged 603,000 viewers on ABC. A rerun of gymnastics beat the WNBA. By the way, that's Las Vegas Aces. New York Liberty, the 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 prime New York television market got destroyed by 400,000 viewers. Wow. Wow. Truly remarkable. Man, there are L's going on all over the place when it comes to woke sports right now. Disastrous rating, disastrous showing, both on the field and off in the ratings for the U.S. Women's National Squad. Of course, if you did not watch like I did not watch, now some of you, like Jason Whitlock, was hate-watching this thing, but you did not watch. You, of course, missed Megan Rapino epically shitting the bed in historically wonderful fashion for this uh, communist anti-American quote-unquote U.S. Women's National Squad. You missed her missing a wide-open penalty kick. Way to go. Way to fall flat on your face, flat on your ass. Now, she can go sell man suits, and she can be a grifter, and she can start even more activism, and she can start banging the drum for biological men in sports now that she is conveniently no longer in soccer. But that's a side note to everything. Tell me what you think, black and white sports to supporters. The NFL embarrasses everybody again. The NBA, it embarrasses the NBA playoffs. That's a beautiful thing. And a rerun of gymnastics takes the WNBA back behind the woodshed. Lovely. Lovely. I'm here for it. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.